one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So moody be. <clears throat> Mr. Collier, would you give us roll call? Yes, sir. Chuck is here. Here. Excuse me. CB, Tom P. Here. CC, Jimmy LaFont. Here. CD, Rodney Discolair. Here. CE, Ted Savoy. Here. CF, uh, Larry Griffin. Here. CG, John Melisson. Here. CDI, CDH, Mike Kelly here. And CDI, Chris Kelly. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. President. I thank you, Mr. Collier. Next half, we approve minutes for December 14, 2022 meeting. Need a motion. Moved. Moved by Mr. Larry Griffin. Second. Second by John Mellison. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have executive director's report. Mr. Chasso. Thank you, Mr. President, and happy new year to everyone uh, here and, and watching. Um, our first projects are Northern Expansion, Northern Expansion Slip C and Flotation Canal Bulkhead, PCOL and Associates. Sure. Uh, yeah, on the bulkhead, uh, APC Construction is the contractor. They've uh, completed the bulkhead. They're blasting and painting now. And they're also bringing in uh, aggregates, different the different aggregates that we need. Uh, their contract time ran out last week, um, but they should be finishing up in the next couple of weeks, weather permitting. Okay. Any questions for you on that? <clears throat> okay, Northern Expansion Slip C and Flotation Canal Sweep Dredge. Yeah, this is a sweep dredge in front of that bulkhead. We uh, received bids in November. Coastal Dredging Company was the lowest bidder. We're currently processing contracts. Um, we should have that done this week, and then we'll schedule a pre-construction meeting, and then we'll time their start to the, the finish of the bulkhead project. <clears throat> Okay. Any questions? Thank you. All right, thank you, Joe. Northern Expansion Slip D Bulkhead, GIS Engineering. John. Okay, we're wrapping up our internal reviews in the next couple of days, so we should have that package, the bid package to y'all for y'all review and forwarding to DOTD. We're hoping on Friday. Any questions? Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, moving on to airport projects. Aircraft operations, Davey. Okay. Good. All right, on the operations, we had 1,497 operations in December, passengers 10,021, and the vehicle count was 24,625 for that month. Okay, you want to give the totals for all of 2022, or the totals? We'll have to look it up, but I do have it. It's, uh, it's on the screen. So for the monthly totals um, for operations, or the yearly total actually, was um, 14,538 operations uh, in terms of passengers, uh, 91,421, and vehicles, uh, 263,028 vehicles. For the, so those are our annual numbers for 2022. I would tell you that we should see uh, a pretty good increase uh, to those, all of those numbers in 2023. Okay. All right. Uh, moving on to Airport Connector Road and Bridge, PCL and Associates. Yeah, sea level construction is a contractor. Currently, they're working on um, putting in a noise barrier um, along the residential area on LA1 side, and they're also actually today they're pouring the two columns on the west side of the bridge. Um, they'll continue, once those columns are um, cured, they'll continue going up uh, for more, more pours. Um, that's, that's basically all they have going on right now. All of the drainage is complete, and then after that, they'll start working on the, the connector road and bringing in base and getting all that straight. Any questions on that for Drew? 
All right, thank you. Thank you. Airport terminal surcharge project, GIS engineering. Okay, we've done all the preliminary work for the construction, onshore construction as a contractor. We're just waiting on DOTD to give us approval to issue a notice to proceed. Okay. Any questions on that? Okay, the uh, PAPI LED upgrade. PAPI LED upgrades, we're going through our design process and the FAA process to get this project uh, started. Okay. Any questions on that? Okay. Thank you, John. Thank you. The approach obstruction removal, Davey. Approach obstruction removal, that project is complete. LMB was the contractor, and uh, he did submit a request for additional payments. We submitted back to him. There was not sufficient information for us to add some additional funding, so he is requesting a meeting, but the job is complete, and we're getting ready to finalize the uh, paperwork. Okay. Any questions, Dave? All right, moving on to other projects. First is the Fouchon Pavilion project, PCOL and Associates. <clears throat> uh, onshore Construction is a contractor. Um, they've pretty much completed erecting the building. There's some few knickknacks left to be done. Uh, they're also um, completed with all of the drain subsurface drainage work along Flotation Canal Road, and they're forming up to pour the concrete driveways, which is, they'll probably pour concrete sometime next week. Uh, we're still looking at end of February, early March completion date on this project. Okay. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Port Security LWIN system, John Crochet. All the hardware has been received. We're working on the process of a project location change for the Port Security Grant Program. Okay. That's moving along. We we'll, should have a, another update for you, a better update for yeah, you. Yeah, next month. A couple for weeks. Sure. Any questions? Thank you, John. All right, the Leeville LA1 construction, canal dredging, and mitigation, and Gillette design. Okay, plans and specs are being finalized for this project. We're going to be doing a final review on that next week, um, and then we'll be ready to begin advertising. The state has removed all of the pipelines in the area. So. Okay. All right, any questions for Neil? Thank you, Neil. Thank you. All right, moving on to Hurricane Ida repair projects, uh, the admin building. Davy. <coughs> Planets Design Group, thank you. Good morning, uh, Blaze Dufrin with the Planets Design Group. Um, currently at the admin building, the roof is uh, weather tight. Uh, they still have the cap sheet to install. They're gonna do that in the next few weeks, I believe. Uh, spray foam insulation is complete at the interior of the building. They're currently uh, installing gyp board throughout in the areas where, where it was removed. Uh, electrical rough ends are taking place. Duct work is being installed at this time. <coughs> Uh, and then A and G will start the uh, AC unit installation in the next few weeks. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, I didn't say Pisciola uh, Construction is the contractor. Uh, the current completion date is March 22nd, uh, per uh, the last the change order number one that we did. Uh, I am anticipating uh, them requesting an additional 12 days or so for a HVAC delay, which would bring us to the first week in April. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, please. All right. All right. The public boat launch bathhouse, PCO Land Associates. <clears throat> so Grand Isle Shipyard is the contractor. We're complete, and in the lean period, they only have one light left to put up. So it is uh, building is operational, and we're using it. Okay. I think we opened it up on Monday, right? Monday. All right. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. All right, Nervy Collins Marina bucket dredge project. Yeah. Yeah, Plaisons, we took bids on this project. Um, back in December, Plaisons drag line was a low bidder. Uh, we're currently processing contracts, and then we'll have a pre construction meeting shortly to get them started. Okay. Any questions for Joe on that? Thank you. All right, the operations center, EOC, and operations maintenance warehouse. David. Rita Mayor is the engineer on that project, Tosh is the contractor. The EOC building, they did complete all of the interior work <coughs> except for the uh, suspended ceiling. And uh, they did receive all the coil material to start the barrel roof. They're gonna start that. And it take them a couple of weeks. Once they complete that, they'll finish the ceiling inside. 
and they've done the demolition in the ops building, so they'll move to the ops building to start doing the repair once uh, maintenance and harbor police can actually move and utilize the other building. And we are working on a permit for the shop itself, which would be the third phase of uh, construction. Any questions for Dave? All right, the boat lift roof and wharves, GIS engineering. Okay, the contractor on this project is Tidewater Dock. They're making good progress. They have finished at the Storm Harbor Marina and have done most of the work on the boat lift at the Commercial, uh, commercial Fisherman's Marina and are continuing to work on the wharves in that area. Okay. Any questions for that? All right, the airport terminal repairs. Okay, we are also in the process of getting that construction kicked off we are kind of waiting on the parish to give us a building permit all right so we're working on that and then we'll move, move the project forward right that and that could be any day now okay right. any questions okay thank you thank John. you all right flotation canal mooring dolphin repairs angelette design all right this project was awarded last month to uh, sea level <coughs> construction um, that's to repair all of the mooring dolphins on the north bank of the flotation canal um, contracts have been signed and they're currently being recorded, and we'll be having a pre-construction meeting with the contractor um, next week. Uh, we don't have a date pinned down yet, but I'll, I'll let the port know as soon as we do. Um, this project has a timeline of about 150 days, so we expect by you know early summer this this will be complete. Okay. Good deal. Any questions? Thank you, Neil. Thank you. All right. All right. All I have, Mr. President. Okay. Thank you. Any public comment? Ms. Annette Fontana, would you like to address the board or anything? Sure. All right. Well, uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm glad to be here with and to see all of you. And um, I just want to thank all of you and all the employees at the Port Commission. You allowed us to use your facilities during the last election to receive election returns because the Galliana Annex is, of course, um, under repair um, and not usable at this time. So we really appreciate the staff and, and all of you extending that to us and working with us going forward. It's, it's been a great benefit to us to be able to receive that, especially for our commissioners and our commissioners in charge. They don't have to drop to you know, Lockport or Thibodeau to bring those returns back. And I know that we do have some candidate elections coming up and nobody wants to wait on their results. So uh, you do do us a great service. We do have some elections coming up on March 25th. We have qualifying in, in two weeks uh, on uh, January 25th, 26th, 27th. Uh, we have two seats on the Port Commission. We have a judge race for Division B. As all of you know, Judge Miller is a, has ascended to the Court of Appeal. So we have a vacant judge seat. And then we do have some tax propositions that um, are coming up uh, from the parish. So again, we thank you for working with our staff and allowing us to, you know, to use the facilities. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any public, other public comment? All right. We're going into executive committee. Members are Chuck E. Sherman, Chairman, Rodney J. Jusclair, Sr., Larry Griffin, and Jim LaFont. First, we have consider approving the 2023 Co-op Endeavor Agreement with South Louisiana Economic Council Restore Retreat and LA1 Coalition. All right, so this is uh, an agreement we do on an annual basis. Uh, SLEC shall assist the port with uh, its economic development, infrastructure improvement, and coastal restoration needs in conjunction with LA1 and Restore Retreat. And in return, um, we, um, we give uh, $10,000 to SLEC $1,000 to the LA-1 Coalition and $12,000 to Restore Retreat. Recommendation to approve. All right. Need a motion. Move. Move by my Second. colleague. Second by Mr. Ted Savoy. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have consider approving the request from Newport Drilling Fluids, LLC, to terminate GLF-317 and GLF-317AB. Okay, this item and the next two items, items two, three, and four uh, on your agenda are all connected. Um, and this first item is um, to um, 
basically terminate the, the current lease on GLF 317 and 317AB recommendation to approve. All right, need a motion. Move. Moved by John Nellison, second by Mr. Tom P. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have consider approving the request from Tetra Technologies <coughs> to lease site GLF 317 and GLF 317AB. So Newport Drilling worked with Tetra in order to, to make this change, and this was their request, recommendation to approve this lease request. All right. Need a motion. Move by Mr. Rondi Gisclair, second by Jim Lafon. Any discussion? Any public comment? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. <clears throat> Next, we have consider approving the request from Offshore Support Services, Newport Drilling. Right, number, number four. Number four. There okay, excuse me. Consider approving the sublease to Tetra to John W. Stone Oil Distributors, site GLF 317AB. So uh, New Park had been um, subleasing to John W. Stone a portion of GLF 317AB. Tetra is uh, is willing to, to move that forward as well. So recommendation to approve this sublease. All right. Need a motion. Move. Moved by Mr. John uh, Chris <laughs> Colley. Second by Mr. John Melison. Any discussion? Any public comment? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Now we have consider approving the request from Offshore Support Services, Newport Drilling Sublease to Salama J Site GLF 353. Okay, so um, Offshore Support Services had requested, uh, they're working with Newport, Newport um, to sublease that section that Newport was subleasing from OSS to Schlumber J. Recommendation to approve. All right. Need a Move. motion. Move. Move by Larry Griffin. Second by Mr. Mike Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. <clears throat> and we want to, uh, Mr. Chairman, we appreciate uh, folks from Offshore Support Services, from John W. Stone, and from New Park being here today. Um, we've been working with them over the last uh, several months on this, and uh, we appreciate. The, the historical re relationship we've had with, with New Park, current relationship we have with Stone and, and OSS uh, for all the work. We, we do this a lot with, with our customers and uh, to have them here today is really, really good. So thank you all for being here and uh, it's been a pleasure to work with all of you on this. All right, thank you all gentlemen. Next we have consider approving the request from Sister Soul Food LLC for food truck lease and port. Okay, so uh, the next three here are uh, going to be food trucks, different different companies. Uh, all of those, uh, these next three are going to be placed at the old Cajun Truck Plaza site where we have dumpsters and portalettes for, for people to use. We need food in, in the port, uh, so this is going to help uh, all of our customers and users <coughs> of Port Food Show. Recommendation to approve Sister Soul Food food Truck Lease. Okay, need a motion. Moved by Mr. Ted Savoy, second by Mr. Rodney Justclair. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, consider approving the request from Flavor Box LLC for food truck lease and port. Recommendation to approve. A motion, need a motion? Move. Moved by Larry Griffin, second by Mr. Tom P. <coughs> Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have consider approving the request from Real Outfitters, LLC, food truck, lease, and port. All right, recommendation to approve. Need a motion. Move. Moved by Mr. Rodney Gisclair, second by Mr. Jimmy Lafon. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Okay, that ends Executive Committee going into Permits and Waterways Committees. Members are Rodney Gisclair, <coughs> Chairman, Ted Savoy, Tom Pete, and Chucky Sherman. Mr. Gisclair, your turn. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we're going <coughs> to review the permit from GLPC, which is a Greater Lafourche Port Commission uh, in Lafourche Parish, Louisiana. It's for removal of debris and abandoned, uh, abandoned items, primarily containers, boats, etc., scattered in and adjacent to Bay Lafourche during Hurricane Ida. Removal will be by barge mounted crane and barge. Removal of items not in open water will be accomplished by <coughs> towing said items via crane to the barge. Items not in open water will be accessed by pedestrian personnel or, if available, nearest public road. 
No equipment will travel upon wetlands, and approximately 0 0.20 acres of unvegetated water bottoms and 0 0.32 acres of wetlands habitat may be impacted by the proposed activity. Mr. President, that's the only permit we have for this week. Uh, thank you. All right, Mr. Giscard, thank you very much. We're going to get out of permits and waterways, go into construction and development. <laughs> Members are Chris Colley, Chairman, Mike Colley, Jimmy LaFont, and Chucky Sherman. Mr. Colley. Good morning, and thank you, Mr. President. First, we have consider approving the lowest responsive bid for the 2023 construction materials. All right, we had two bidders for uh, all the items for our uh, construction materials, Grand Isle Shipyard and Onshore Materials, and recommendation is to approve the low bids for all items that were bid on. All right, need a motion. We're moved by Mr. Chris Colley, second. second by Mr. Uh, John Melison. <clears throat> Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Item two, consider approving the lowest responsive bid for the 2023 fuel supplier. All right, we received two bids, uh, Wagsback Oil and Gobert Oil, and it's based on markup of the, from the rack price. Lowest markup was Wagsback Oil at 19.95 uh, cents. Recommendation to approve. All right, need a motion. Move. Move by Larry Griffin, second by Chris Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <coughs> Motion passed. Item three, consider adopting the DOTD <coughs> resolution to advertise for the Slip D bulkhead project. All right, the Slip D bulkhead project is a DOTD port priority project. Recommendation to approve this resolution for authoriza authorization to advertise. All right, need a motion. My, my colleague, second by Jim Lafon. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Item four, consider accepting the DOTD sponsorship agreement for the GAO terminal surcharge project. All right, so we're working with uh, state DOTD aviation uh, on this project and they will, um, DOTD will contribute an amount not to exceed $253,596 to the project. Recommendation to approve. All right, in a motion, moved by Mr. Chris Colley, second by Tom Pete. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Item five, consider approving the FAA non-reimbursement agreement for the upcoming flight check for the Pappy Upgrade LED project. So this is an agreement uh, with FAA and the Port Commission uh, to do a flight inspection uh, for that Pappy light project. Recommendation to approve. I need a motion. Move. Moved by Chris Colley, seconded by Jim Lafont. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Mr. President, this concludes the Construction and Development Committee report. Thank you, Mr. Colley. Next, we're going to the Finance Committee. Members are John Melison, Jr., Chairman, Larry Griffin, Chris Colley, Chucky Sherman. Mr. Melison. Good morning, and thank you, Mr. President. We'll begin by consider approving the payments of the December 2022 20, invoices and recognizing those expenditures over $25,000. I think we have a mix up here. I got January 23 on one, are we 22 or December, Miranda? This is January 23. Okay, my agenda sheet has 22. Okay. So yeah. we'd be doing January 2023? 20, Yes. All right. I'd like to change that to January 2023. So first we begin with uh, announcing those over $25,000. And excuse me, I just called on to my notes. It's December 2022 yes, payments. Sir. My bad. All right. So we'll begin with the uh, Motorola. $392,675.40. And that's for equipment for Elwin Project. Item two, APC Construction, LLC, $378,567.76. And that's for Slip C Bulkhead Part Two. Item three, Onshore Construction Company, LLC, $250,111.98. And that's for the Flotation Canal Pavilion. Item four, Sea Level Construction Incorporated, 
$183,069.92, and that's for the airport, connector, road, and bridge. Item 5, Pisciola Construction Company Incorporated, $158,422.95, and that's for hurricane auto repairs to the administration building. Item 6, GIS Engineering, $115,778.70, and that's for multiple items. It'll be Slip D, Bulkhead, Marsh Creation Project, the Hurricane Ida Damage Restoration Project, General Engineering and Permitting, along with the Fouchon Island Bridge and Connector Road Project. Item 7, SHI International Corporation, $85,800 even, and that's for the 2023 C4 Renewal and Cloud Mitigation. Item 8, Angelette Design LLC, and for the information of our board, Mr. Angelette changed the name of his company from Angelette Pisciolo to Angelette Design LLC, so we'll be seeing that more often. And that is $69,221.56. That's for the Fouchon Island Permit Development, the Fouchon Bridge, Fouchon Beach Maintenance, Restoration, and Protection, mm -hmm. item nine. PCOL and Associates, $53,515.03, and that's for the Airport Connector Road and Bridge, Slip C Suite Dredging, General Engineering and Permitting, and the Flotation Canal Pavilion, Item 10, CSRS Disaster Recovery Management, LLC, $32,752.50, and that's for Disaster Grant Management Consultant, her, for Hurricane Ida. Item 11, Grand Isle Shipyard, $29,198.60, and that's repairs to the bathhouse at the public boat launch, along with labor at the airport. Item 12, Tosh, LLC, $27,953.75, and that is for Hurricane Ida recovery in Fouchon. And these expenditures, along with the others, total $2,785,670.49. And Mr. Griffin, if I made no mistakes. You did good. I did good today. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion. We accept these. All right. I got a motion by Mr. LaFont, second by Mr. Griffin. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. And last, as discussed in Monday night's committee meeting, we need to approve the December 2022 unaudited financial statements. And Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion. We accept these. All right, I got a motion by Mr. Melson, second by Mr. Colley. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Mr. President, this concludes the Finance Committee report. Thank you, Mr. Melson. <clears throat> now we go into executive session. We're going to need a uh, roll call roll. vote. So we need to make a motion. Okay. Move. I got a move by Mr. Melison for a motion, a second by Mr. Ted Salwa to go into the executive session. Mr. Colley, would you please give us a roll call? Yes, sir. CD, Chucky Sheriff. Yes. CD, Tom Pete. Yes. CC, Jimmy LaFont. Yes. CD, Rodney Disclair. Yes. CD, Ted Salwa. Yes. CF, Larry Griffin. Yes. CG, John Melisson. Yes. Seat H, Mike Kale. Yes. <clears throat> Seat I, Chris Kelly. Yes. It's been approved, Mr. <laughs> President. All right. Right back. Sure. All right, we need a little motion to come on, or what we need? No, just all right. Just start. All right. So are we coming back to a regular meeting? Yeah, make a motion. We get back into we're gonna get the regular session. No, no, no we just, we'll just, just, I mean, come no, just get, get back. <clears throat> all right. Any other business? Any public comment? Mr. LaFont? I move that we adjourn, Mr. President. I had a motion by Mr. Jim LaFont, second by Mr. Rodney Gisclair. Any, any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to our meeting. Remember, we're starting a new year. So let's think on a positive note. Everything good, no hurricanes, everything goes well. So, and everyone enjoy. Mardi Gras season started, so remember, don't drink and drive, but have a blast at Mardi Gras. <laughs> Meeting adjourned.